All right, Virgo, hello, hello. Welcome to your weekly reading. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions. I read intuitively. So I ask that take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. I've already blessed my decks of cards. Let's go ahead and get started. Virgo, how are you? Drop in the comments. Are you expecting great things? What is it you're expecting? Have you made any shifts and are you prepared for the new moon this weekend it's going to be big energy it's a time to do something new it's a time to set plans and take the entire month or less to get her done if you will okay virgo drop it in the comments what new thing do you want to step out on we're going to get a couple of oracle cards and then we're going to clarify with the tarot. Divine Spirit, what does Virgo need to know for the week of March 10th through March 16th? We got two jumpers. Okay, Virgo. Here we are. We have calming the waters, Virgo. Peaceful self-regulation. And then we also have wisdom. Learning, joy, art, music, Virgo. All right? Learning, joy, art, music. I feel like with both of these, there will be a level of absolutely joy, uh, being more expressive, Virgo, than also inspired by doing some type of art or learning something new. You will become inspired and there's a newness that is to come about. All right, so... Let's go ahead and get some tarot to clarify what we have here. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. All right, Divine Spirit, what does Virgo need to know? Do tell. What does Virgo need to know? Mm -hmm. We got one of them. Queen of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? Self-regulation. This is telling me that do not look external. Do not look at external sources, Virgo, to find peace. Peace is going to come from within. Peace is something you find and do for self. That is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Ten of Cups. This is amazing. Virgo. And then Six of Cups. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of emotional work that seems to need to be done, Virgo, to help you to get to a peaceful state and being able to self-regulate. So first, firstly, with this Queen of Wands energy, Virgo, this points to determination. You are determined to be and determination and independence. You are determined to live a peaceful life. You are determined to live a peaceful life, Virgo, and you are determined to to be independent and that goes back to spirit allowing you to know that peace comes from within. That is an independent act, Virgo. Peace searching for peace. Um, becoming intimate with peacefulness in your life is an independent act and it comes from within. And then we have the Ten of Cups. It looks like with this, with all of this energy, again, this is a lot of emotional work, Virgo, but this is beautiful emotional work that pays off for you in the end. This is, excuse me, the Ten of Cups is telling you that this is a happy ending. This is fulfillment for you. This is a renewing of your spirit. This is transforming your life when you get in touch with self and and live in a peaceful life, doing this peace work independently, not searching for outside sources, knowing that that peace comes from within and it brings you to a renewing of your life. It transforms and transitions your life into the next stages of enlightenment and fulfillment and joy, right? And then we have the Six of Cups, Virgo. All right, with the Six of Cups, this is healing. I'm getting healing for you. 
I'm getting healing for you, Virgo. There is some um, childhood trauma, which we all have. Some of us have more than others. But there is a healing to for you. Spirit is asking you to heal that inner child. When you heal that inner child, you begin to self-regulate. You know how when, when you're raising children and the, all the experts and the pediatricians tell you to let your child learn how to self-regulate their emotions? Well, Spirit is telling you, you're going to have to go back, heal that inner child and self-regulate to get yourself to a place of peace so that you do have a life of fulfillment, enjoyment, um, health, health, and just full of love, being an independent leader of your own life, right? Let's get a few more clarifiers for Virgo. Divine Spirit, give us more. This is beautiful. Self-reliant, independent, just leveling up your life, but do the work. Heal that, heal that inner child, Virgo, so that you are able to move forward and live the life that you desire and deserve. All right. Nine of Swords. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> And eight of cups. All right. What I'm feeling for you with this nine of swords, Virgo. That childhood trauma continues to rear its ugly head. It's rearing its ugly head from time to time. Especially when it's time for you to rest yourself. And it's not allowing you to rest. You must heal that childhood trauma. You must deal with that childhood trauma. If you have to even go and seek professional help with that. This is something Spirit is urging you to do. So that you can release the tension. Release the negativity. To release the anxiety and wor worry Virgo. Alright. Nine of Pentacles is just fruition. All of your... All of your hard work, when you do this emotional work, and it will be hard, Virgo, you will be able to relish in the fruits of your labor. You are, it's like you're that much closer to the last step to, you're that much closer to the Ten of Cups, Virgo, right? This is just uh, abundance in your life. This is freedom in your life and liberation in your life to bring you to that Ten of Cups energy. Okay, Virgo, it's just, this is beautiful. This is, Spirit is showing you, you can do the work. The work is absolutely necessary, but it's nothing you cannot do, Virgo. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Cups. You have to let go of whatever it is that's holding you back. And it looks like it's something from your past, something that worries you and keeps you up at night, Virgo. Spirit is telling you it's time to walk away from living in the past. It's time to heal the past. It's time to move forward in your life. And in order to move forward, you're going to have to take some steps to do healing. Okay, Virgo? But nothing you cannot accomplish. Let's go ahead and look at wisdom, learning, joy, and art. Okay. This is, this is inspiration for you, Virgo, inspiration for your life, right? You will be inspired while you're doing this work. As you journey, you will be inspired to do more for yourself, to do more healing. You just want more of that joy. <clears throat> All right. Ace of Wands. Yes. Yes, Virgo. Yes. Okay. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, oh my goodness, Virgo, and King of Wands, fire. Virgo, there is fire for you, for your life, okay? With this wisdom, see, what's going to happen with all of this work and this inner child healing, you are going to become wiser in knowing yourself. You will be the 
area expert of yourself, the wisdom you will gain from doing this work is what I'm feeling for you. And then with this Ace of Wands, this is the beginning of creating the life that you desire, Virgo. Again, inspired uh, wisdom. This is your willpower strengthening for you. Virgo, okay, and then with the Six of Wands, okay, victory. Spirit is saying you can do all of this, and here it is. Here's the proof. Victory is yours, Virgo. Success, public recognition, because people are going to see the difference in you. They're going to be like, what is Virgo doing? Why does Virgo glow? Why is Virgo floating across the room? Lots of fire right here for you, Virgo. This alarm is going off. And then the King of Wands energy. O-M-G. Okay. This is, again, just being a leader. This is being creative. This is living an inspired life, Virgo. That's what this is. This is beautiful. All of this work you're doing brings you to all of this. All of this, Virgo, you've got this. Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, and Five of Wands. Okay, it will feel challenging for you doing this work, and that's understandable. There's, there's nothing easy about leveling up our life, so you will feel uh, some challenge. You will feel a little out of sorts at times while you're doing this work, Virgo, but then you're coming into... You're coming into a place of more power, more willpower, into a place of leadership. And with that kind of life, it takes work. There will be bumps in the road. There will be challenges in front of you. But you can navigate all of this, Virgo, okay? You become an authority in your own life. No one gets to tell you how to shape your life Virgo. They might have done that in the past and you might have listened, but the way your life is going and the healing that you're doing, Virgo, you become the authority. You again are the leader. You get public recognition. Then there is a structure that you create. You're creating a structure in your life and that also points to the four of pentacles for you, uh, creating security in your life and stability. Even looks like you're working on, you're working on a stronger foundation. And to get that stronger foundation, spirit say, do the work, do the work, Virgo. There's nothing you cannot accomplish here. There's nothing you cannot accomplish here. I mean, this is amazing. Looking at Looking at this, oh, the emperor, I mean, the, can you, I can't, I cannot, I cannot imagine. I mean, even with the, like all of this, this king energy and the beginnings for you, for you, right? That's, it's going to be a little bit of conflict and that's okay. That's okay. It's nothing you can't handle. This is nothing you can't handle, Virgo absolutely you're built for this you're absolutely built for this virgo i'm super excited for you and what's coming towards you this is beautiful if you have made it to the end of this video this was absolutely for you virgo thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe click the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos i have for you i will see you soon but until then Bye-bye.